Hello, it's RW Tema here. I'm just here to do a quick video on a thing that I made. Um, basically, I like to mess around when I'm in test world testing testy stuff, and um, this was something I made while I was messing around. Um, I posted a screenshot of this on Twitter, but uh, a lot of people were like, wait, w what is this? What is, what is it doing? How does this work? So I figured I'd just show it off in a bit more detail. Okay, basically this is my attempt to automate the inscriber and the creation of all of its various items uh, using only AE2 blocks. In fact, there's not even any vanilla stuff here. And using only um, one inscriber. So this single inscriber has to do all the printing, all the inscribing, everything. You know, there you can see it's doing all of that. Um, and it works pretty damn well, I think. Um, the other goal is that it must be, you know, completely reliable. In other words, the the um, instructions can come in at any order, completely at random, and it must still be able to work um, reliably. And it does that pretty well. Um, so how does it do it? Uh, well, it's a bit tricky to explain, but... Uh, what we've got here is the old inscriber, and here's the the center block. God, my mouse is being really weird on the capture. God damn it. Um, anyway, the uh, so yeah, the middle slot here is king, as it were. So here we've got an ME interface with patterns coming in. These are for diamond, silicon, and so on. And this is just going into another interface, which has ooh, quite a lot of stuff here. Um, and as you know, an interface will constantly try to pull into the system, and the only place for it to go on this subnetwork, there's eight channels being used, that's an import bus, the only place for it to go is here, into this storage bus, um, into the middle slot. But uh, once it gets there, it needs to have all the appropriate other stuff put in there as well. And this is where these these little redstone torches, which are level emitters, coming in. Um, and if you look here, you can see ME toggle buses and inverted ME toggle buses. These are actually really great, and a lot of people don't really use them, which you know, makes me sad, because they're completely free, they don't use up any channels, and you can do some pretty amazing stuff with these. Um, so here you've got uh, crystal. If there's one in there, it turns off the redstone thing. Um, you could change that and just swap these inverted and regular any controllers around. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, what's happening here is that over here we have report inaccessible items. This is important. You have to set the report inaccessible items to be yes. Otherwise, it won't detect anything because you can't actually pull out from the center slot. You can pull out from the top and the bottom slots, but not the center one. If you try to pull out from there, it, it pulls out from the output. Um, and so we've got one here for Certus Quartz, um, for uh, Diamond, one for Gold, one for Silicon, and one here for Redstone. Um, and these all activate and deactivate parts of the system. And over here we have ME, an ME interface with uh, an inscriber Silicon Press, and so on. Um, and over here we have for a calculation press. So you'll notice this one is doesn't have a thing in there, and these all these other the other four do, and that's because it's over here. Um, so yeah, it'll it turns off there and tries to import the press into the system, and the only place it can go is here. You know, one of these into the bottom slot, and over here we have the three other logical printed circuits. And again, over here we have the same thing. Uh, we've got a stone chest that acts as a buffer for, um, uh, you know, redstone and so on. You know, we have six, sorry, seven redstone. We've got two plus five there. And, well, it's changing slightly, but, you know, there, there's always the sort of the right amount here. You will always have one redstone, uh, one printed silicon, and one of the other three items there, so you don't worry, need to worry about that thing getting out of sync. Um, and over here you've got patterns. I am cheating a little bit 
because I am, you know, having these separate, whereas technically, if you were doing it really properly, you should have this thing, you know, just be one calculation pressure with one redstone, one silicon, and one Surtis crystal, but meh, it works fine. And, uh, yeah. And, you know, it, so it works the same sort of principle. Uh, here it's constantly important, importing redstone, and if redstone does manage to get in here, it uh, toggles that and activates the import bus. I placed something down there accidentally. Yeah, there it is. Um, so it'll import all the other things required if there's redstone in there. And, uh, so yeah, it'll... And it's very reliable. It hasn't uh, gotten stuck or crashed once, and I've I've been printing hundreds of these things. I'm quite proud of how it turned out. And as I said, this is all A2. The only vanilla stuff is the gold, redstone, diamonds, etc. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you know if you haven't checked out the toggle buses, they are actually really, really powerful. You can do some fun stuff with them. Um, when combined with level emitters. Um, in fact, a 2 has got a lot of nice stuff in general. It's rather a pity that there's not really much use for this sort of contraption, just because, you know, you can have, like, five inscribers very easily and, ins you know, inscribe it much more efficiently, but, eh, it's a nice little challenge build, and I'm quite happy with it. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that sort of gives you inspiration for stuff to check out and uh, see you.